New Zealand. It is attack. Every day the bombers take off from New Zealand soil to patrol the approaches to New Zealand. We're not waiting for an enemy to come. We're loading bombs now, 250 and 500 pounds of death and destruction at a time. Every day our bombers go up with our bombs to seek him out, should he come. There won't be any strategical retreats or tactical withdrawals here. We can't fall back on Antarctica. We've got to hit or be hit, and we've got to hit hard. We've got to go and meet our enemy. We've got to stop fighting backwards and start fighting back. We've got to push him off, then chase him far and fast and chase him home, and keep chasing him. We can rely on these machines for the job. We can rely on the bombs to smash him when they hit him. We can rely on the men who fly the planes and the men who aim the bombs. They have to rely on us to keep them supplied. They need more planes, more bombs. They need a vast ground organization, mechanics to keep them flying, fighter planes to attack with them. They need all of us behind them, throwing our weight behind the offensive they are getting ready on the airfields of New Zealand. This week, all New Zealand must swing in behind the big campaign to sell bonds for the Air Force. Gilt-edged investments. They are worth one pound, ten pounds and one hundred pounds. But they cost less and pay three percent. It's up to all of us to set the campaign going in a good takeoff and bring it home to a three-point landing. We're investing in the Royal New Zealand Air Force. We're investing in victory and we're investing in survival. It's a case of who hits first and who hits hardest. The harder we work to turn our savings into national savings, the harder our fighting men can hit Japan. This week it's bonds for bombs and bonds for bombers. Bonds for the Air Force of New Zealand. Cash down and a money back guarantee. Let's all stand up and talk back at Japan with fighting talk. The sort of talk the Japanese will understand. The talk they've asked for. Talk in terms of attack with bombs and planes to carry them. And men to show Japan that New Zealand has a dynamite punch. We're not thinking of defense anymore. It's attack now, and attack means the last man and the last man's last penny. Remember, this week, it's bonds for bombers.